What's up guys, it's Kixbird here, and today we'll be talking about the Ronnie Feig Times uh, New Balance collaboration. Uh, it's been nicknamed the Daytona. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, Ronnie Feig called it that, so uh, that is kind of the official nickname. So, let's get into it. So, this shoe's been on the radar for about a month now. Um, a month today, actually. Today is the 25th. Uh, with we saw this tweet by Ronnie. Uh, this tweet was he said, you know, it's the most going to be the most premium New Balance upper. If you're not a fan of 1600 right now, you will be when this is over. And um, as you can see here, I included this little segment. A uh, GT fan kind of approves. Uh, I think he's looking forward to it. Uh, shout out to GT fan. He's a great guy. Um, but as you can see, it is a 1600 which means it's not made in the USA, but will still be, um, uh, should be a great shoe. So moving on, uh, these are all pictures off of his Instagram. And uh, we saw this picture of the, the materials, the leathers or things used on the shoe here, um, which, uh, as you can see, it's kind of a beige mid-panel and then a... Um, brown heel cup ish type part. So uh, then moving on, we saw a picture of the laces, the first picture. And these laces are actually pretty cool for what they are. I mean, they're simple white laces, but then they have the Kith, Ronnie Feig, and New Balance branding on the uh, eyelet, or not eyelet, uh, what is it, aglet, and the uh, part of the lace. So I mean it's pretty cool. Um, just you know it's the details and I think that's one part about this shoe that really makes it cool. Um, then a little later we saw this picture which was kind of the first picture of the actual shoe that we got. So as we can see here we have you know pink, blue, brown, beige basically the colors. You can see it's a suede there and it's uh, some pink rope laces. And that's what basically what we got from here. Um, moving on, we saw this picture, which is kind of a picture of the. Um, it's I don't know I don't want I want to call it a lace lock, but I'm not quite sure if that's what you call it. Um, with the RF, um, I believe both shoes have the this lace lock and says RF. I'm not quite sure, but um, and you can see the rope laces again, which is a kind of Kith exclusive type thing. We also get a better look at the toe box here, which we can see is perforated suede. And uh, I believe all the materials on the shoe are perforated. I believe. I'm not quite sure, though. Next up, we saw a full picture kind of the side of the shoe. One thing I'd like uh, to point out here is that the kith, uh, well, it's not kith, the uh, tongue tag, uh, it's in embossed leather at the New Balance and the 1600 logos which uh, looks really clean and you know, like I said the shoes about the details I think um, we can see two lace locks there uh, and just more of the materials so uh, moving on we saw this picture of a close-up of the New Balance branding on the side of the shoe which um, I mean, it doesn't tell us much. You can see the perforated suede, actually, I believe it is. Um, which I'm sure is going to be extra buttery. <laughs> but um, you can see the pink New Balance outlined in white and um, <clears throat> blue. I believe it's a royal blue. I'd have to check. But, um, yeah, so next up, like I said, you can see the rope laces there. And then we see these white laces again. So we know of two laces right now, which, I mean... We usually get a lot of laces with kith drops. Um, so yeah, it's cool. This actually makes the shoe look pretty white um, compared to like the previous picture where it looked really beige. So I'm not quite sure on the colors on this shoe, but um, right now it kind of looks white. The last picture it looks beige. Most pictures it does look beige, but this one just happened to look white. So next up, we saw this picture of the top view of the shoe, which... Um, it doesn't tell us much more except for we can see a beige set of laces now. So that is three laces that it's going to come with. And uh, I also saw today, Ronnie Feig 
confirmed, and I believe it was on the with the drop, uh, there will be three laces. So the beige, the white, and the rope laces. Um, I do not believe that the beige ones have the branding on them. They're just regular ones. Uh, let me get, let me know which laces you guys think would look best on these. Uh, so going back in, we saw another picture of the back of the shoe, which um, you know just kind of shows us another angle of the shoe. Nothing too special. But uh, so next, we saw this picture. Ronnie Fig posted this of this jacket. I'm not sure who the woman is. Uh, I don't know if it's his wife or girlfriend or something. I don't know. Um, but you can see this jacket. It's kind of like a hoodie or vest or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, with the Kith New Balance, the altered New Balance Kith logo type thing. Uh, with the New York on the sleeves that you can see there. Um, this actually looks pretty dang good. But I'm probably not going to cop that. Uh, next up we see the shoe completely disassembled. I thought this picture was pretty dang cool just because like there it is. It's all disassembled. Um, but as you can see on the inside of the sole it uh, we have that Kith branding with the New Balance which uh, I think is pretty cool. You know, I love, I'm a sucker for insoles so yeah and it's just completely disassembled. Kind of cool look at the shoe. So moving on we see this picture of the um, well, more apparel. It looks like they're going to have pretty much a full set of clothes to go along with this shoe. Uh, first off, I see the socks. The socks, I mean, I'm kind of into the socks. I picked up some stuff in the Volcano Collection, one being the socks. Um, so, those socks, I mean, they look pretty good. I don't know whether I'm going to get them or not. But also, it's interesting because it looks like there's going to be a pair of Mercers that are going to come be available. I suppose for this, which um, I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't think they've ever had Mercer specific to a shoe. Don't quote me on that because I don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm interested in buying jogger pants or Mercers, but I don't think I'll buy these because they'll be kind of specific. And it looks like they have like leather going down the side, and I don't know. But moving on, we see another picture which uh, looks like more like a jacket, kind of like what we saw before, but uh, color switched, and this one actually looks a little heavier. Um, Kith branding in pink with New Balance-esque logo, and yeah, and we also see the Mercers again with the shoe on the street. So, um, one of the last pictures I have here is that it is um, of the 3M. So we're going to see basically everything every part of the shoe that is pink um, will be 3M. Every material. I, I mean, I, that's basically true. Not completely, but um, a lot of the parts that are pink and blue that aren't like a leather thing or suede are going to be 3M, which uh, the details again, the 3M's, everybody loves 3M, I think, so those little things are just cool. Oh, but uh, I do want to point out here that we actually can see on these beige laces that there are that branding. So, just, they're completely altered laces, all of them, which is really cool because they're all going to be Kith exclusive laces. Um, and here, lastly, just a picture of the shoe, side view. There it is for us to see. And I really do like this shoe. I'm, I did, uh, I did end up copying. I know. You know, it's only Monday, but um, like I mentioned, I did get some stuff from the Volcano Collection, and um, it's still not here yet. I got a jacket. It's really disappointing because it's been a month, but the struggle goes on. Um, so I did get the chance to pre-order, and I did go for it. It was uh, 175 for anyone who, who's uh, considering. $12 shipping. Um, it was a really smooth tran transaction with the... Uh, uh, pre-order and you know I thank Ronnie Five for really you know acknowledging that there was a problem and giving us that chance because I mean I don't, this is the first Ronnie Five shoe I'll have this is actually the first New Balance shoe I'll have I've been really interested in getting into the joggers or not joggers the runners so um, this shoe I mean I think Ronnie was right when he first said that if you're not a fan of the six, 1600 right now you will be when this shoe comes out and that's what I was 
I mean, the Ubix, Ubix, whatever, um, Benjamins did look pretty good to me. But, um, yeah, New Balance has been killing it this year. Their Concepts collabs were so crazy good. And this one, I mean, it's a little brighter color shoe. I think you either love it or hate it, but me, I love it, and that's why I picked it up. So um, look forward to that, along with some clothing pickups that I'm going to have. Um, hopefully I'll do like a haul video here soon, and then this shoe. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been putting out videos, but just been busy with school, cross country, everything like that. So um, like, favorite, subscribe. It's all I ask of you. And we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.